Hello everybody, this is 33 Readings and this reading is going to be for Leo. Leo, let's have a look at your May. What's going to be in May uh -huh, for Leo? Let's have a look. What are the energies for Leo? If you have Leo in any placements in your chart, that is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, whatever. You can watch this, okay? Not to forget that general readings are not meant to be for everybody. I guess y'all know that, but I feel like I have to say it because I don't know. <laughs> general readings are not for everybody. So yeah, that's it. Let's see. Some part may resonate, some may not. So whatever part is not for you, I cannot do anything about it anyway. So let's see. Um, I had coffee today, so. What do we have for Leo? I think I'm behaving like a Leo today. <laughs> All right. Energetic and just calling people out. I love Leos. People always think I'm a Leo or I have Leo in my chart. Uh, but surprisingly... Okay, let's see. What messages do we have for Leo? What messages do we have for Leo? All right, we get the Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, uh, Nine of Cups, and the Hermit. Okay, so something happened right there in the past for you, Leo, uh, that brought you some sort of a disappointment. Ooh, overall energy is the Eight of Swords, Three of Wands. So I feel like you were hoping for a different sort of an outcome, but what was given to you was just not that. So what you, what you were expecting wasn't given to you, Leo. Okay. With that Six of Cups, Nine of Cups, I feel like you expected more out of a situation. Like there was a connection that you were emotionally involved in, but it didn't go as planned, right? And I see you being silent and contemplating and there is something that's bothering you in the back of your head because I see that there's some difficulty in, you know, coming to a conclusion and still hoping. But I see some sort of an ending here or just you getting to know that maybe it's an end, you know. Let's see. Okay, we have a card out. So you get the four on ones. In the past, things seem to be okay. All right. All right, let's see. Ooh, there's a wish fulfillment for you, Leo. This is beautiful. I feel like your happiness matters the most, okay? And you're, you want this emotional fulfillment, this nine of cups all by yourself, okay? Or even if you're dealing with an individual, you want this, okay? You're not going to be settling for less. There's something that's still in the back of your head bothering you, Leo. Um, I see you contemplating, okay, towards this uh, wish fulfillment. I see you moving towards this wish fulfillment. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is here too. Um, your main goal seems to be the attainment of the Four of Wands and the Star. Because from the past, the situation that you're coming from is not the most comfortable or is just not what you expected. So now you kind of like redirecting your focus, Leo. But in the near future, you have uh, wish fulfillment for you, okay? Something that's going to... You know, things are going to fall into their place. It's going to be all right. You, you're coming from a dark time, but I see you achieve. See, you get the sun at the bottom of the deck along with three of cups, ace of ones. This could mean communication or a new beginning of some sort. However, I see this, the sun being um, the sign of like, it's like where you're headed towards. Maybe there's going to be some passionate new beginning okay something that you're passionate about could be career related something that you're putting all your passion into or you could be blessed with an opportunity okay from 
unknown, like you don't even expect an opportunity comes, something like that. So you get the sun. The sun to me is talking about clarity that you will gain. Okay, so you're becoming like very emotionally and mentally aware of the situation. Like in the past, something wasn't working out. So what? I'll make it happen for myself, you know? So you're believing in yourself, Leo. Let's see. Let's see. Let's have a look. What's for Leo, please? So you're walking away from something, Leo. Right? So you're making this decision to walk away from something. With that judgment and the Eight of Cups, Leo. Okay. You're walking away. You are... Um, you're deciding to leave the past in the past. And there's some disappointment. And I see you putting a thought into something, right? So I feel like there was a situation that you were feeling trapped in. You were feeling that there's not enough closure for you or there's not enough clarity in the situation for you, okay? And you just, you you were like, what am I getting out of it? Like nothing. So you, a part of you is realizing that it's best for you to let it go and believe in new beginnings, new opportunities, things happening for you in the divine time. Uh, and eventually they will with the star card. But right now I just see you thinking. I see you putting a thought into something and being aware of something. So there was a sudden aware of awareness of some sort, Leo. Um, so you're walking away. Definitely you're walking away or you have realized that it's time for it to end or maybe it's not working out for you. I don't see you putting effort in towards this person or whatever situation that it is, right? Um, I see you walking away from it and I see you making the decision to drop the negativity finally. Okay. Do you see that? Let's see. Let's see. Page of Swords. <laughs> Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, Leo, this person's keeping tabs on you. Okay. But I feel like there was lack of effort from their side right they felt like this so there was lack of effort from this person's side um and there was definitely an ending of some sort you see here something wasn't moving forward with this person see the lovers so in this love connection there was lack of uh, forward movement and this person wasn't just giving you what you expected right so the situation might have been stuck and stagnant with the hangman and the ten of swords so you're realizing that it's time for it to be over or just you are getting over it or trying to get over it something of that sort however there's a person around you or whoever you're dealing with this person's keeping tabs on you okay uh what, who is this immature person their energy is very immature and they weren't putting enough effort into the equation with you so there wasn't much to like they weren't offering you much so that's the reason why you're dropping it or deciding that it's time to drop it. Okay. Hangman in the reverse. So I feel like you, you're hoping and wishing for things to go back to normal. You're hoping and wishing to get unstuck because there was a situation. I feel, I, I feel like you were feeling very, very stuck in a situation, Leo. And you tried your best, but there wasn't anything that was coming out of it okay so you made a decision to walk away and you now you're hoping to finally gain clarity and you're hoping for forward movement in life in general as well okay you don't want to get stuck in a situation in which you feel burdened you feel trapped or you don't want to get depressed over you know something so you're buckling up and you're deciding to be in control of your own happiness right do see that let's see Leo, but there's still love. There's still love. Or maybe you're maybe you're believing in love, okay? Maybe you're believing in love. That you want a partner that's very passionate towards you. But there is something that you're daydreaming about, like love or a perfect relationship, something of that sort. Okay? Let's see what's going to be the outcome. And then we're going to have a look at your person's feelings towards you and the outcome. What's going to be the outcome for Leo in this situation? 
All right, so get the seven of swords. Who is this person? Like a seeming like an air sign. Could be any sign though, but the outcome is the seven of swords. Be careful. Ace of cups. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I did see the temperance. Seven of cups. You're going to put your thought into it. I feel like this person likes to keep their options open. You're done, Leo. You're done. Or you're just very, very disappointed. Because this person wasn't giving you what you were expecting. So the outcome comes to be seven of swords, ace of cups, seven of cups. Whoever this person is, they're looking back and they're coming back. And they're going to be passionate. I feel like they're going to say whatever you want them to say because I don't know. They're going to tell you really sweet things to try to get you back because you're you're dropping them right so, or you're realizing that it's, it's nothing is coming out of it this person loves to flirt this person loves to just be a child or just keep it cool and not take things forward but you want to take things forward you want a serious relationship or a perfect long-term relationship but this person isn't ready for that was wasn't ready for that and that's the reason why you dropped it right they're coming back and i feel like they keep things very unclear between the two of you you never know what's going to be you know where is this um headed towards very unclear and they're bringing that energy back again so this person is coming back okay water sign air sign let's have a look what's this person feeling towards leo what is this person feeling towards leo please what is this person feeling towards Leo? What is this person feeling towards Leo? What is this person feeling towards Leo? Okay. The hermit in the reverse. Coming out of silence, definitely. They want to come out of silence with you. Okay. I do have some cards. Okay, let's see. Ten of Cups. They're coming back. Definitely coming back. They're going to be very sweet towards you. Ooh, Three of Swords, Three of Cups. Possible third-party situation, Leo. Be very, very careful because I think that there was... This person likes to keep their options open for some of you. And there is a third-party situation. Both third-party cards together. Like, look at that. So person loves to play three of pentacles in the reverse um what i see is that this person is going to be very sweet towards you but they don't have enough stability to offer for a long-term partnership okay and they're bringing the player like energy back so your player like person or your player is coming back definitely they're, they want to come out of silence you get the five of swords they're looking back they realize that you, you, you know you, you've given up strength your own card so you're keeping it low you're keeping it like you're trying to gain your strength here you're trying to be the best possible version of yourself gaining that emotional stability by yourself while this person is like let me crawl back into seeking one this person is coming back i feel like this person is very assertive you see them as a very egoistic, childish person or very immature, okay? You don't see them as the most mature. So that's why I said some sort of a truth came, okay? The devil, Leo. See, this person's a player. This person's a player and they don't have enough stability to offer. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person is coming back 100%. Could be Capricorn, Leo, fellow Leo, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Pisces. Those are the... Oh, Gemini as well. Let's see. Yeah, they're coming back. They're coming back. What are you talking about? They're coming back. But I feel like this person... For you, it's over with the death. It's over for you, but not for them. It's not over for them. 100% Leo. They're going to be coming back. Let's see where the oracle card saying for leo okay 
healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there could be some codependency here or that you are attached to this person in a very unhealthy way. So it's, it's, it's a little bit problematic for you to detach. All right, let's see. What other messages do you have for Leo? What other messages do you have for Leo? What other messages? Okay, Leo, let's have a look. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this really. See, I told you this person's a player. Ooh, and then you get reconciliation. They're coming back. But there's still deception, especially with that that three of cups and three of swords. Ooh, deception, lying, third party. Be careful. I feel like you already know the truth or got to know the truth, but you might deal with this person again because you miss them. There's still some love. It's up to you, Leo. Whatever you want to do. There's a there's a comeback around, but this person is deceptive, so be careful. Okay. All right, that's it. That's all that I had for Leo. For personals, you can check out the description for the details. Take very good care of yourself. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a like. Take very good care of yourself and bye-bye.